Don't ask why. Just let's just sit back and enjoy. The da this is just under a year ago, and if you haven't seen it, this is an amazing debate. And um, yeah, even though you know, Tim Paul is in it, and you have to hear his voice and his fucking keyboard, I want you to just keep you know. Just keep your eye on Sam Cedar's face and um, see if you can sort of like and you know try, try and see how many times you, ex you you expect to start hearing like the Curb Your Enthusiasm music start playing. You know. Anyway, and you, you know you know this is going to be good because Tim Paul did so badly that the best you know you know the oh, the, the most positive comment that was posted under his video was someone saying you know what. I can't believe you even uploaded this. You know, I almost respect you for, you know, for doing that. You know, but also it, it's the fact he has to put this little disclaimer. of the, 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 He has to sort of introduce that. He could have just started it. But no, he has to put this little sort of like, you know, uh, you know, just FYI, uh, I'm about to get uh, arse raped, you know, verbally. You know, I'm about to get, the, you know, I'm about to get the shit kicked out of me. Um, and um, to the point where even my most sort of die-hard fucking simping fanboys will, will not be able to, you know, ignore it or deny it. So um, I just want to put it in here and, and put it under, you know, and just, and just paint the, you know, I just want to put this out there to sort of create the illusion that this isn't about ownage or, you know, whatever. This was just a friendly discussion between, you know, between what, you know, well, Someone who knows what they're talking about, and Tim Pole, this little fucking emo penfold from Danger Mouse looking prick. Anyway. You're about to watch a discussion I had with political commentator, YouTuber, podcaster Sam Cedar. I believe that we had a pretty good conversation. And I want to make a few points before it gets started because I just really, really can't stand the posturing and the bad faith attacks. Tim Paul cannot stand posturing. And the bad faith attacks. Which, by the way, bearing in mind, the debate hasn't started yet. And he's already talking about posturing and bad faith attacks. Can you at least let people watch it and start fucking... Start strutting around before you start having a go at them. I have tremendous respect for Sam for, uh, for, you know, coming on and having a conversation with me. I think there are many things he brought up that I didn't know and he made excellent. You know, mostly, you know, you know, the things featured between timestamp two minutes and one minute, one hour, 38, 33, you know. Excellent points. I pushed back on, on my feelings and thoughts based on what I knew. I think there are some things I knew that he didn't. You know, I made reference. Uh, notice how he says, I think there are some things I knew that he didn't. You know, he certainly, you know, well, I mean, the last argument you make, he didn't know that. And certain things. So n neither of us are perfect, but I. That is at least true. I, I, in, I, I know that whenever you do these kind of things, invariably, there's going to be people saying like, aha, did you see Sam dunk on Tim? Or did you see Tim dunk on Sam? No, 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 no. Don't worry, Tim. I guarantee you, nobody was ever going to sit, post a comment saying, ha ha, did you see Tim dunk on Sam? This isn't even a dunking. You know, this is like, you know, the Harlem Globetrotters versus the generals, but the generals didn't turn up. Both of us view the world in a different way based on the news we consume and the articles we've read and... See, you can tell someone's lost a debate when they have to resort to this kind of, like, it's all subjective. And there may be things I don't fully understand, and I think that's... That, yeah, the things you don't fully understand, yes. I mean, Sam couldn't bring up all of the things you don't fully understand, because that would, re you know, require us to go all the way back, you know, to things like tying your fucking shoelaces, basic fucking arithmetic. That's fair. And I genuinely tried to have a real conversation with Sam to, to kind of break down what our feelings are. It may be possible that... What our feelings are, because feelings, you know, 
Feelings are what matter, aren't they? Not facts. It's about our feelings. Sam says some things that are incorrect, and I wasn't able to fact check it. It's also entirely possible I've said some things that are incorrect. And that is entirely possible. Did you did you say at any point? Did you use words? You know. Then yes. Sam wasn't able to fact check it. In fact, it, right in the beginning, he does. Sam didn't really need to fact check it. He he did. Sam just has this great way of pulling a face as if to go. Just bring up a point about the aggregate polls for impeachment, and I have tremendous respect for for his position, why he believes it, and I want to stress this simply because the conversation we had is very important. It's not about me trying to prove him wrong and win a debate. It's a. I'm I'm so glad that that's not what it was about. Yeah, you know, because that is like literally the exact opposite of what you did. About us trying, at least for me, it's about me trying to have a conversation with somebody where I know. You know how much of a fucking loser do you have to be that you, you know, the best way you can sum up a debate you had on important issues is this is me trying to have a conversation. We have some disagreements. That's about it. I think in the end. I know we have disagreements. That's about it. Yet yeah, that's kind of the point of a fucking debate, isn't it? You know, I've done conversations with David Pakman, and now I have a conversation with Sam Cedar, and I think there are some things I didn't know before, and they uh, help I me mean, understand. David that's made two actual, people. Excellent points. When uh, I had a conversation with him, I think in the end we'll continue to disagree. We'll go back to viewing the news we view, and in the end we'll ball. That is just such a fucking bullshit cop out. We're going to view the news. With you. So you admit that you deliberately, that your opinion is informed by the fucking news that you choose to consume, and 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 it doesn't. You know, your conclusion is maybe I should consume more. You know, a wider variety of news. Both have a different understanding of what's happening in politics. I wish there was a way to solve that, but the, the, the one thing we can do is conversations like this. So before, n n now moving into the, to, to the actual interview, I'll just give a special thank you to Sam for, for coming on and talking with me and agreeing and all that stuff. Uh, I, I tremendous respect and, I, respect and I greatly appreciate the opportunity. You know, this is like he's, this is him breaking you. You know, this is you. You've got to thank, you know, when you get, when the daddy on E-Wing has his way with you, you know, you make sure you... We're Mr. Big on E-Wing. ...and for you to spend as much time as you did. It's, it's, it's long. It's an hour and 40 minutes. So it, it really does mean a lot that people are willing to engage with me, even if I am... And, and you could tell that Sam, for Sam, this was the possibly the longest hour and 40 minutes of his entire fucking life. I'm wrong sometimes. So I hope you all um, provide that same respect and know that... The intention of this conversation was, was legit. We, we wanted to, you know, talk about these ideas. We probably don't agree, but there you go. Let's play it. You want to sit there and talk about, you know, respecting the fact that you can be wrong and we have different ideas. Have you seen, like, your videos and the respect you grant other people? N no. I mean, I haven't seen your videos. This is the only video of yours. I've ever watched and I don't it's all I need to know you know anyway let battle commence this is uh, Sam Cedar thanks for joining me and we're going to discuss impeachment so he's already got that wrong he says this is Sam Cedar no you're Tim Paul that's Sam Cedar over there he's already grimacing uh, I have I don't know what you describe my position, uh, except I'm against impeachment, not a big fan of Trump, and definitely will have some criticism coming his way. Just FYI, in, in a couple of months ago, Tim Paul basically made a video saying he would be voting for Trump. You know. And uh, yeah, that's it. And that Joe Biden, if Joe Biden wins, they're literally going to send... I mean, he's, he's bordering on... I wouldn't even say he's bordering on his, you know, his, his you know, bizarre, you know fantasies of you know what of what joe biden's going to do is 
is literally, you know, it's it's on it's at Alex Jones level of bonkers, you know. In this regard, but would you want to sort of describe where you're at on impeachment? Um, I think it's uh, hugely important to do to um, hold the president and, frankly, I think there should be other officials in the Trump administration uh, impeached, um, hold power to account. You know, the, the, the Constitution um, contemplates a president like Donald Trump uh, might come around and um, he should be impeached uh, simply for the sake of, of holding uh, people to account. And then I think also, I, I think there's also uh, big political benefits to it as well. Uh, but um, so for those, for both those reasons, I think he should be impeached. So uh, I'll, I'll tell you my general position that there's a ton of arguments to go through for and against impeachment. Looking, looking at the... See, you notice how Sam just basically said yes, because... He needs to be impeached because that's the process and that's what he's done. And then Tim is like, okay, I've got a ton of arguments. Like, I've got so much fucking horse shit. This is Gish Galloping on a He is the Usain Bolt of Gish Galloping. You know, if Gish, Gall if Gish Galloping was a fucking Olympic sport, he would have to be drug tested after this performance. The strategy, so, so just for my, my uh, opinion on this, I think the Senate's never going to convict, right? Uh, assuming we get to impeachment on the, uh, you know, we're in the inquiry, assuming they, they, the House votes, Trump's impeached, it moves to the Senate. The Senate's not going to convict, Trump's going to walk away from this, but it is going to be incredibly divisive, and it's also very distracting. And I, and divisive. It's going to be divisive. What, what world are you living in? We shouldn't do something because it's divisive. In my opinion, I think politically destructive for the Democrats. You know, because the president, you know, trying to, for, you know, trying to, you know, blackmail a fucking foreign power into investigating some other. I mean, that's not divisive, is it? I mean, Trump is a walking divisive. You know, he's the fucking. You know, there's no other word. For, I mean, you know, you couldn't be more. We couldn't be more divided if we literally weren't split. It Moses could fucking come down. And split us like that, you know, and there'd be this be, just be people, you know, people on that side, people on that side, and this big empty bit in the middle, you know, like your fucking airline. Because once again, they're getting. And FYI, there will be loads, plenty more jokes about Tim Paul being bald and short and fat and stupid. And if you don't like that, you're probably a Tim Paul fan. Being wrapped up in Trump's game, talking about him instead of countering positions. You see, what I, you see what I mean? Yeah, I mean, I think it's helpful to, to sort of, like I say, um, maybe have uh, the, the different arguments on, on both sides of it. I mean, everything you've just said to me is, is political, and we can, right. we can hold off on the, on the question of, is it healthy for a democracy to not hold um, uh, presidents and uh, government officials, that, for that matter, to account? when they are engaged in obvious law breaking. Maybe you don't think he has um, done anything let's, let's, that, yeah, that would that. warrant impeachment, but um, we can go right to the politics of it if let's, you want. No, let, let's, let's start with the warranting of impeachment. Right. Uh, do you, you assume the, he, he has warranted impeachment. Do you want to explain your position? Well, I love how he thinks it's not his position. It's based on like what we know happened. It's like, you know, it doesn't matter what you... Or any, you know, this you get this all the time when people ask you, people ask you, what do you think about this? And I'm like, it doesn't matter. This is not relevant. Let's deal with what we know, you know. Well, I mean, I think, um, uh, I, I think on in terms of emoluments, I mean, just today, I think there's probably three or four <laughs> articles of impeachment uh, that could be <laughs> on what has come out today. Uh, frankly, um, the, the emoluments involving him holding the G7 um, at the, the Doral. I think there is literally dozens of instances uh, like this uh, with his hotels where he is uh, profiting. Um, I think yeah. in the Mueller report, if you read it, um, I think 
quite clearly what he is doing is encouraging interference into the uh, election. Um, and uh, I think that warrants impeachment. I don't think a president should do that. I think everything that we know at this point about Ukraine, uh, the extortion, the, um, the illicit withholding of security funds um, uh, warrants impeachment. I think um, the, you know, there was multiple occasions in the Mueller report where he asked underlings to break the law. Most of those instances, they did not. Um, he also broke campaign finance law. He also perjured himself, I think. In that was just this morning. Wrote, uh, for Mueller. Um, you know, the last being what, uh, the, what warranted Clinton's impeachment in the context of a deposition. Um, I think also just the general obstruction that we see just in seeking documents from the EPA, documents from a U.S. DA, Tim Paul has no uh, idea so what on. Sam's got. Look at him. The, just that no obstruction, I think, is warranting uh, impeachment because they're not providing for Congress's uh, oversight of the presidency. Uh, so for those things and... I mean, I'm fairly confident that uh, more investigation will turn up more, frankly, but I don't think you need it. I think um, you could do it today. So the, the first thing is, I, I can't believe Trump would make what is probably the stupidest move in, in, in announcing the G7 at Durrell. Did you hear that? He cannot believe Donald Trump did something extraordinarily stupid. This is in 20, this is 2019, this debate, you know, this is a year ago. I completely agree. I mean, if, if you start with um, him accusing the Bidens of using their name for, for political gain, and then the scandal involving the Air Force at his UK golf resorts, I have no idea what the man was thinking in, 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 in on having this be announced. He's going to... You don't have much of an idea what you're thinking, Tim. I wouldn't try and do it for anyone else. Least of all, Trump. To his credit, he doesn't really need to think. He's a force of nature. Host an event at his own company's property. There's no, there's no, no matter what the argument is, it was probably at the very least the stupidest possible thing someone could have done. Uh, not, not really, though, is it? I mean, it's not the stupidest possible thing. You know, I mean, probably any other politician or president, that would be the stupidest thing, but not him. So I'll say that the, the Donald Trump is a guy who is a germaphobe who, who, who seems to be happy for a virus to be running rampant. He's a germaphobe who, who, when, who cheated on his wife going bareback with a porn star. You know, he got a round of applause because he, he, drank, a, he drank a glass of water. He can't even walk downstairs. He can't even stand, but I bet he folds paper. He probably breathes through his fucking ears. The other challenging part is where we get into all of the different reporting and the news surrounding, you know, what's going on with Ukraine? Did Trump actually break the law? And you start getting... Okay, the reporting and the news is not relevant. You know, it doesn't matter what the, you know, it's... There are discernible facts, you know, Getting into this very difficult position where the Democrats are doing one thing, the Republicans are doing one thing, and both sides accuse each, each other of doing the exact same thing. You're joking. The Republicans and the Democrats are disagreeing on something and accusing each other of doing, you know. And, and obviously both accusations are equal. It, it couldn't pot, let's not, let's not look at the actual substance of the accusations. Cunt. So for me, mm, oh I, yeah, yes. I don't know what you mean by that. So for instance, uh, right now- Get used uh, to that feeling, Sam. Pulled up, we have Adam Schiff is accused now of trying to pressure Volcker into claiming that Trump was putting pressure on Ukraine and Volcker denies it. So a partial transcript Tim, was released. Today, Mick Mulvaney in front of the White House press pool said that- uh, Eyebrows going, uh, Sam's eyebrows are going. So Mick Mulvaney said that there were three components the, the withholding of military aid 
was one component in getting Ukraine to investigate the, the origins of the 2016 uh, 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 counterintelligence report. And so this is, so, so here's one of the challenges, right? This goes back to an, uh, I have a story here from Time Magazine about John Durham, who is with the DOJ. He's considered, according to Time Magazine, a moderate, reasonable person who's going to be investigating oh, well, there you go. counterintelligence. And so the statement from Mick Mulvaney was, is it against the law for the president to ask a foreign co country we have a treaty with to aid an investigation that's ongoing at the DOJ? And the answer is no. And Mick Mulvaney is quoted as saying... Well, of course uh, not, but he yeah. was withholding... They, they were withholding um, uh, aid that was already so, appropriated by Congress to the right, extent right, that you had Republican senators uh, with their hair on fire about this. So according to the New York Times, Ukraine was not aware that anything was withheld for it a month matter. after the fact. If you shoot... Th this, is a, this, is a rep this, goes, this is a point that Tim cannot seem to grasp, that just because... You know that the Ukraine di Ukraine didn't know, or you know, or you know, even if Ukraine didn't know they were being extorted, that doesn't mean an attempt to at extortion or an attempt to at extortion didn't happen. You know, it's like if you stole if you stole money out of someone's wallet, but they never noticed. You can't sit there and go, well, you know. It's like CeeLo Green's argument that you know, if you rape someone when they're asleep, it doesn't count. Because consciousness has got, they've got to be, con you know, because how can anything happen if you're not conscious? You know, it's, but he doesn't get this. It's not quid pro quo. No, no. If you shoot at me and I'm not aware that you're shooting at me, you're still guilty of, you're still guilty of attempted murder just because um, the, uh, the, the Ukrainians, were, but not uh, extortion. Well, yeah, not extortion. No, no, if you shoot at someone, you're not guilty of extortion. That is true. Because right, right. But, so but Trump Jews, was not Trump, extorting Ukraine. No, he was extorting Ukraine. But he they was. had no idea. So this, is, this Tim, is the problem. Tim, first off, the the story that you're talking about, where the Ukrainians said that they have recanted on that. A, B, the fact of the matter is, we're talking about Trump's action. You do not need the victims. A state of mind to establish no. his actions. We know this is indisputable. We know that money was appropriated. We know mm -hmm. that Trump held it up. We know for a fact that Trump told everyone uh, in his cabinet to say that it was an interagency problem when when Congress asked what's going on here. We know that it was sufficient right, right, so enough that Republican senators. We're, we're running around saying, yep. where is this money? Why isn't it going there? We Absolutely. also know from Mick Mulvaney. This is another thing he does. He, count how many times, just you know, keep note of, do a shot every time. He basically, Sam rebuts him, he agrees, and then either goes back to the original argument anyway or moves on to something else. Like you're being casualty before, halfway, before we're halfway. That he was demanding investigations into a conspiracy theory from 2016 involving some notion that uh, Ukraine had framed Russia in, in, in interfering in the election. I think we you're, also you're, know, are, are, we also you, know from, what, from testimony that we heard from Sunderland um, yesterday mm -hmm. that they were talking about um, uh, Hunter Biden. So we right. know all this. It doesn't so are matter. You, are you, well, but, hold on. So the conspiracy theory thing, uh, what, which, what conspiracy theory is that? Because I want to... We go. Oh, here we go. This is where people. You, you can always. You want to know. You want to spot someone who's definitely a conspiracy theorist. Is that they get really fucking sensitive if you use the word conspiracy theory, because they know what that. They know there's a certain stigma to that. You know. Yeah, that's a very loaded term. I want to be careful about what stories we call conspiracy. Fucking loaded term. Jeez. The notion that Ukrainian Ukraine set up Russia to make it look like Russia was interfering in the election, when in fact it was Ukraine interfering in the election. Is that specifically so? So so here's here's another. You know, we're entering this world of the right and the left are looking at the same story and seeing here we completely go. different things, right? So well, we it's it, it's it's all subjective. 
You know, you can't know anything. Um, yeah, I understand. It's the right and the left, and you there sat there, you know, pretending to be in the in the center. You know. All right, let me give you a source. Let me give you a source. You're, okay. you're calling it a conspiracy theory, but I have here from Politico, Ukrainian efforts to you know sabotage Trump backfire. This is from the end of 2017, and this because this is relevant. 2017, you know. Is one of the launching off points for uh, new, th this investigation, particularly where Ukraine, according to Politico, uh, um, Ken Vogel, I believe his name is now reported for the New York Times, asserted that Ukraine was seeking to undermine Trump and work with with Hillary Clinton, the Democrats. So now you have an investigation into why. What, what is and this? what the pissing hell has that got to do with with with, with this with Joe Biden? What is the basis for the story? And should there be an investigation? Which there is. John Durham is doing an investigation, according to Time. So what the fucking hell is this are you moaning about? So on the right perspective, they're saying Trump is telling them, hey, we need your help investigating this story. That is. So what you're saying is that Hillary Clinton tried this with Ukraine. And then that, that, you know, and there was enough validity or, or you know, or reason to, for them to start an investigation. And they, they were that stupid that they thought, let's do it again. It's in time and Politico, not a conspiracy. Well, if... Oh, oh it's, it's, in, it's, in, it's in Time magazine and Politico, so it's not a conspiracy. Okay. If he wants to do that, then why didn't he announce that? He did. Why, why, Trump, why, Trump said it several no, times, though. No, no, no. Why, why, why was he holding back the aid when he doesn't? He's not authorized to do that. I mean, if, if you want to talk about whether I mean, why did he lie, why did he say why didn't he go to the Senate to the Republicans? Why didn't he say to Ron Johnson, "We're holding up this aid because we need to get to the bottom of this 2016, um, you know, uh, hijack. I, I, I hear you. I, I, I agree. I, mean, I, I agree. I agree. I agree. I agree. But, but well, no, but hold Tim, on. Look, Tim, no, hold on. No, I agree. I agree. Wait, wait, wait. Let me just no, say wait, this. Wait a second. The fact is, is that you can say there are two sides to this argument. Of course there are. But you cannot sit there and, and look at the sort of basic truth that Donald Trump lied about this. And when someone lies about something, he did. He what, did. In what capacity? What capacity? It. Like, just, just explain, explain he, the lie. He said to everyone in the White House, including Mick Mulvaney and others, that when, when, when anybody asks why this is being held up, you tell them it's interagency, uh, some interagency problem. And, in fact, and you're saying it's not was, interagency. It was not. And we know what, that. We know what, what, that. So, so, so what and do we know specifically? We know did you hear that? He said, what do we know? You, you, the square root of fuck all, mate. Chocolate bloody bud nuts. It's a swirling vortex. A black hole. An absolute fucking zero. Donald Trump said, hold up on the money. And when people yeah. ask about it, say that it's an interagency squabble. We know this. We know this to be true. Okay. You, you can go and, and Google it right, right, right now. Right. You, the same sources you're talking about have reported this in every single uh, outlet that there is. So the question becomes to you, Tim. Yes, but that's only because, Sam, you read news sources that have told you these things. Tim Paul, obviously, doesn't read news. I mean, you know, I mean, so far, and also so far, he, talk, he, he said in the intro about his news sources, he's going to read the news that he reads, and Sam's going to read the news. That, I mean, so far, we've got New York Times... Time Magazine and Politico, they're hardly, you know, the, these are hardly fucking sources. I'm pretty sure Sam probably reads them. Why would he lie about that if what he was doing was perfectly reasonable? If you, so you're, you're saying the Ukrainians recanted on not knowing about the, the, it being held up. It if doesn't I, matter! And then I will, right, so why would Donald Trump lie about this thing? that you're claiming your sources say is perfectly reasonable. I didn't say it was reasonable. 
I'm just, I'm, I'm asking whether it's or not, not reasonable. Like, so I'm just arguing. The, what the fucking and I'm hell? To set the parameters for what would, what would constitute extortion and you're, lead you're, us to you're impeachment. Changing the topic. I, Why I, listen, would Donald listen. Trump lie about? There's the a reason? million. Talk about conspiracy theories, mate. You know, your beanie hat is a crisis actor for your fucking, you know, your fucking dome piece. And one reasons why he would lie. I have no well, idea. Give me two. Uh, okay, the carpenter slipped and spilled coffee on the carpet. And he was panicking and said, we got to take some money from a budget and move it to clean the carpet. Like the, the, the That is the universe Tim Paul lives in. Where there, you know, where if there's a potentially a million reasons why something could have happened... You have to take all of them into account, you know, and, and just this is the moment you can see already. Look at Sam's face. It's starting to sink, right? It's starting to fucking droop. The point I'm making with that is we have literally no idea what's going on in the White House. And there's a bunch of other confidential. We have literally no idea. We don't know about. So to make the assumption... Has there ever been a White House that has been... That we have had less... That we have had more of an idea of what's going in, on? You know, I don't think there's ever been a fucking... Administration or any form of, like, government anywhere on Earth that we have known more what's going on. Because they're all fucking recording each other and, you know, and then fucking, you know, just... Leaking shit and fuck Christ almighty. Look at Sam's... Look, Sam's lost it already. You know... This is, this is where it... Do, 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 do. Specifically about extorting the Ukrainians when Ukrainians didn't even know is a leap I can't make. His, his so face... Do you know what he reminds me of? You know that scene in, uh, in Life of Brian where, you know, with big, where they're talking about, you know, biggest dickers and, you know, Michael Palin's trying to get... Caesar is trying to get, you know, the the guards to laugh, and the you know, and the guards just go. Mm -hmm. That's what Sam looks like at this moment, you know? because he realizes he's talking to an absolute fucking spanner. I can say this: Trump should not have withheld aid and lied about it. That's a fact. Okay, yeah, we can agree now, on that. Now we can now, agree on that. But you didn't did agree on that earlier. Is it because well, we, we don't, think well, we, if Ukrainians didn't it, know about it, what you, can we say? It doesn't matter that they didn't know about it. I know that you like, you know, the fact that they didn't know. Tim, you should be grateful that you could, that people will be guilty of crimes, regardless of whether or not the victim doesn't know anything. Because based on your thought process, you could be the victim. You're probably the, one of those cunts who fucking still, you know, you get excited when Nigerian fucking princes or S Saudi Arabian kings send you emails talking about their, you know, wanting to fucking transfer a ransom because their daughter's been kidnapped. You probably fucking reply to those cunts, don't you? That's you, you know. But you owned a timeshare, you know. That kind of bollocks. No, no. Ukrainians don't have to know about it. For, for it to be extortion, to... they do. You can't no, extort that's... someone if they don't know it's happening. No, that's not true. You, you can't to, do to, it to exert pressure, pressure on someone. You... So, like, so let, let's say, so let's say what those, you know, those, uh, all, those people who who con, who scam people, you know, uh, you know or you know, or people who do, you know, people who scam old, old, you know, old, pen, old age pensioners, the vulnerable, and the infirm. And the, you know, and the and the slightly you know mentally bewildered, you know, does it does it, is, it doesn't count, does it? Until they fuck, unless they know about it. So what if you fucking commit a crime against someone, like you steal from them, or you you cut you scam them out of some money, you know, dis you know you you, you you or you you just you steal money from them, or you get them to give you money under false pre or you know false pretenses, but they're fucking they've got dementia. And they don't, they can't remember any of it or don't know where it, does, does, it, it, do we now say the crime doesn't, ma doesn't count because the victim has no idea what you're talking about? Because if that's true, I'm going down to the old folks home immediately. You have to actually make the implied threat. Tim, if they didn't Tim, know there was a Tim, threat, they can't all, act on first it. First of all, first of all, okay, in terms of proving the crime of extortion, what you're saying is patently false. You don't need the victim to have state of mind is not part of the, uh, the extortion at all. It's not, that's not the case. 
Plus, the fact is that this is not a criminal proceeding. It's an impeachment. It's a political one. So the question right. is not what Ukraine knew or didn't know. The question is, what did Donald Trump do? Now, we know he lied as to why the money was being held up. We also know that he was asking about Biden, a potential 2020 rival of his in a political Let's uh, strike context. that, though. That's, that should not be relevant. It's not relevant. Excuse me? It should not be relevant that someone avoids scrutiny simply because they announce they'll run for president. That's not the argument. No, 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 no. It, it doesn't matter if you're the president or a candidate. You should be investigated if you're if you're subject okay. to well, scrutiny. Did you look at the, the did you look at the transcripts of yeah. the if, if you were any dumber, you'd need watering between Sunderland and, and, and Bill and Taylor. Paul. That was the and one Paul. where he said for a political, you know, and then the, and then Son, uh, what Sunderland responded saying that's not the case. No, that's the one where Sunderland said the president wants the deliverables. And that's where right. Bill Taylor said, as a predicate for what Sunderland said, like I said on the phone last night, I think it's crazy to withhold right, right. security assistance. That's what I mean, right. To withhold In exchange. Security that's what I mean. I meant that all along. I agree for, with you. To which, for help within a, uh, a political campaign. To which the response was, you must be misunderstood, you know, mis misunderstanding this. We should he take a call. He said there was no know. quid pro quo. Yes, he said that right. Donald Trump said there was no quid pro quo. Well, what do yeah. you think Bill Taylor was referring to? Why do you think Bill Taylor had that impression? Sometimes people can have an impression. It's I would I would call that. Sometimes people can have an impression. Why do you think this guy had this impression? Because people sometimes have an impression. Could you try doing an impression, Tim, of like, of like a man with a brain? Uh, circumstantial. Yeah, it was pretty circumstantial. I yeah, so, circumstantial you, 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 so, so right now you have a bunch of people who have gone on the record so far saying Trump didn't want anything from Ukraine. There was no quid pro quo. Quid pro quo. And the closest oh, no. we've... No, you, no, 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 no. We do. We, no, we do have we them on the record. No. Volker no, we have, just went we on the record. Have, and we, Sundland did too. Yeah, Sundland said, Trump said there was no quid pro quo. Well, so like, Sundland said because, in the, no, no. In the, in the, in the said, story, he said, quote, Trump didn't want anything from Ukraine. No, no. If you that's, listen that's to the, his testimony is, yeah. today, the testimony he gave today, mm. he changed it. Wasn't the, the stories that, that anticipated what he would say was not what he said today. And what he said was that Donald Trump denied it was a quid pro quo. Now, just because Trump denies it's a quid pro quo doesn't mean that it's not a quid pro quo. The fact doesn't mean it is, is either. I, I am so sick of the words quid pro Can we just, you know, when, you know when you just hear a word over and over again till it becomes just an abstract noise? And again, him, it doesn't mean it is a quid pro quo. It, it, that's irrelevant. It's not the point. The point is you said he said he denied. So then, then if, it, if, it, if him saying that it, you know, if him saying that is not him, you know, doesn't mean that it is or doesn't mean that it isn't, then why are you bringing it up in the first place when you thought it was the opposite? Because you're a fucking prick, that's why. Facts, that's right, Tim. But the facts are, is that he withheld aid that was appropriated by Congress. He mm -hmm. lied about the reasons why he was doing it. We How many times has Sam explained this already? You know. We know that he brought up his 2020 campaign against Joe Biden. There is absolutely... He, the, he did in the he did not. He did not mention 2020 in the transcript. He mentioned 2016. He mentioned Joe Biden. And Joe Biden was accused by some Ukrainians. What is of Joe Biden of accused of what? So right now we have a, uh, an MP in Ukraine alleging that for consulting activities, Joe Biden received a payment of $900,000. Uh, an MP in Ukraine. Reference source of the gods there, Tim. Some geezer down the pub told me, you know. Paid through Rosemont Seneca. 
Joe Biden. Joe Biden specifically was paid $900,000 through Rosemont Seneca for consulting services. And Victor Shokin has, has uh, issued a sworn affidavit. We actually now have four sworn affidavits from Ukrainian government officials saying that Hunter Biden was going to be part of this investigation into um, Lashenki, I, I, the, the oligarch who ran Burisma, who owned it, and that Joe Biden intervened specifically. According to Victor Shokin's sworn testimony, he said that he was approached by the president and told, you have to drop this. And then when Joe Biden said, we're going to withhold uh, $1 billion in aid to Ukraine unless you, you fire him. That they every fired him. member of NATO and the British who were investigating Burisma were demanding that a prosecutor be fired because he was refusing to investigate Burisma. So when so Joe Biden so, went there right, right, so, and so, said, you've got, you've got to get rid of this prosecutor, it was because the prosecutor was not cooperating with the international investigations into Burisma. So according to four sworn affidavits within Ukraine... And four, now, four sworn affidavits versus literally everyone else on planet Earth. A Ukrainian MP, Joe Biden, was on, was on the payment end through Rosemont Seneca. You're going to you're gonna have to figure out who you think is more trustworthy. Which Ukrainian official... What? A, Ukra a nameless Ukrainian MP, MP that you have just fucking pulled... Out of your fucking short, hairy, hairy little fucking ass, or your, or, or you know, or what? Who's more trust? Who should I trust more? Hmm. That statement. The Ukrainian official who said he wasn't doing his job, or the one who said he was. <laughs> Sam drinking uh, there. Oh, you know. Um. Let's say that Joe Biden is guilty of everything you're talking about. Yeah. Why did Donald Trump lie for a perfectly valid investigation, according to you? Why did he lie? Why did and, and well, why does anyone lie? I mean, what are you know? What is you know? What is what is truth, Sam? What are, what is actual? Not what is knowledge really? When you think about it, do we know? You know. And what authority does he have to withhold that money that has been appropriated by Congress? That's a different issue, though, right? No, I agree with you. No, that is the only issue. Well, it's a different issue. It's like... Why do you think... Why did OJ have, you know, have his wife and her lover's blood on his shoes? Why did he have the other missing glove? And why was he r driving towards the airport with a fucking fake moustache and his passport, you know... And why was his DNA literally all over the murder scene? That's a, that's a different issue. That's distracting from the real issue as to whether or not did his wife and, you know, did, did Ron Goldsmith and, uh, and um, uh, O.J. Simpson's wife, did they know? Did they know that they were going to be murdered that night? Because if they didn't know, then it didn't happen. No, 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 listen, listen. All the other stuff well, you're talking about, in my mind, is conspiracy theory. You think it's obviously legit, but I'm but talking I'm, I'm, about... I can give you, I can give you all the sources for the this. President. He's got not... sources, folks. It, it can't be a conspiracy theory. He's got sources from this website called fucking, you know, utter bollocks, Tim, according to timpool.com forward slash fuck this shit. My head. To do. It, Hillary Clinton... Uh, uh, Joe Biden, they could be involved in the most crooked stuff in the world. That is not exculpatory for what Donald Trump did. So let's separate withholding of aid from investigate Joe Biden's no, alleged No, let's do that because we know these things let's happen separate. simultaneously. Right. We know this. I mean, we listen this, listen to him. Let's separate. Let's take away this thing that is literally the crime committed you know by donald trump and let's imagine you know it's like a crime doesn't count if it was done you know if it was if you can justify say you saying you were going to do it because of another crime that was committed you know 
it's, I mean, it's just, I can't even begin to, you are thicker than a fucking whale omelette, you know? You're dumber than a fucking bag of burnt pubes filled with hammers. Okay. So the Ukrainians don't know, and you're saying that... I mean, just to, you know, I mean, he, has anyone dumber ever worn glasses? You know, Pol Pot. Just think, in, in under the under Pol Pot's regime, Tim Paul would have been murdered because he wore glasses, At, which you know he would have believed made him more intelligent. That doesn't matter. I'm they, saying they didn't that's know right. about the withholding of military. That's correct. That's okay. Correct. So, they assumed it was coming. Are, did, did, did you know that the investigation into Burisma had actually reopened in earlier 2018? I believe. I wipe them. No, and it, you can wipe my, my my fucking ass with that. It might have been earlier this year, but before they had the conversation, I believe actually it was February this year. They reopened the investigation already. I, I it's completely irrelevant to what. So Donald so here, here so first of all, I'm not saying it's completely legitimate. I'm, saying, I'm not. You're not saying anything. And all I know is, you know, I see you. You're saying me. everything and nothing. You're saying everything, and then it all and then it all boils down to like, who know? You know, it could be anything. You know, we might as well just make it fucking up, because you know, it, because it's as good a guess as any. You know. me hey trump did this and that's proof no matter what but then you you can go and read so, here, so i'll tell you first one of the problems conspiracy theory it's the first thing that people J just let it go tim you're a conspiracy theorist right you are that's just it because you think everything you you know everything you, you know every single thing that happens in your mind is the result of deliberate you know actions and nefarious fucking dealings behind the scenes by groups of people. That's what you think, right? That's it, which is, you know, that's, that, that, that's you know, n nothing is, in the, you know, in your world, there are no fucking, you know, th there are no sort of people who act alone. There's not just stuff happening, you know. It's all connected to one big fucking, and, and it all fucking boils down to, you know, or, or you know, and and it always boils down to there being one big fucking plot and everyone's in on it. You know, there's no coincidences. There's no just, uh, you know. And the, the, the you know, and you, you and as soon as, and if you're proven wrong on anything, you know, if it doesn't even matter whether you do say anything. What was it you said AOC would fucking lose and get, get, get destroyed and then she won and then you said I never said but literally, that's all you fucking ever did. There were like 500 tweets of you predicting she would get like negative two votes. People say when they talk about the investigation into the DNC, but we literally have a DOJ investigation and a story from the New York Times and Politico talking exactly about this. If those stories are true, then things start it getting does more not complicated. Exculpate. Um, if Donald, Donald Trump is, is trying to seek enforcement of a treaty we have with Ukraine Tim, to investigate potential corruption, then cop, you have a harder argument. If I'm a cop and there's a mm -hmm. crime uh, and you're selling drugs, let's say, uh, do I have the right or I think... You know, if, if Tim Paul was selling drugs, you know, I fucking... I wish he was. You know, he could do with some. You know, this is a guy who needs fucking... This is someone who's far, been far too sober for too long. Get him on some bath salts, you know. Get some fucking poison frogs and shove them up his ass. Anything, just cheer them. Look at his fuck. That is, the there's an expression in this country saying someone's got a face like a smacked ass. That is it right there. This is a smacked ass wearing glasses, with a fucking with a beard. And why, even that dog in the background, that stuffed toy, is embarrassed, you know. ...drugs, okay? Do I have the right to come into your house without a warrant? No. Right. Okay, so that's what we're talking about. 
We're talking about the age, the, the actions of Donald Trump. Now, if you want to say that there's smoke and fire there with these, uh, these, the, these theories that you have about Ukraine, that's all. They're not my theories, I'm sorry. They're not his theories. Immediately, again, he immediately abdicates all responsibility from anything he's fucking said. When the he's literally remember sat there saying that, it, that you know it could be anything, you know I've got sources that prove it could be anything. Here at literally every possibility or alternate reality ever dot com. Citing Politico. What what a report from Politico and the New York Times you, and, and right. whatever it is that does. I've not... got it pulled up right now actually. Heavy dot com. Pull I'll pull you up in a minute, Sunbeam. Tim, I'm not questioning that. I don't, you've probably got, he hasn't, he's probably got fucking Pornhub open. Yeah. You know, he had the seven day free trial, didn't fucking, didn't pay the 9.99 for the month, you know. I'm you just said there were theories of mine. <laughs> okay. They're not. Oh dear, no, oh, oh, as if, what, you're suggesting that I have somehow concocted this alternate, fuck, you absolute drip. Look at that little, look at that look on his face. God, you could fucking stamp on that for half an hour, couldn't you? And not get bored, you know? You're reading. Now, mainstream news reports. Okay. You know, again, cons this is another thing about conspiracy theorists. Like, and Tim Paul again, it's mainstream media are all fucking, are, are, are all, it's all bullshit. It's all fucking, they're all part of it. They're, you know, the media is corrupt and you can't, you know, and you've got to go to fucking these, these fucking mongoloid porn infernos like Andy and Go and fucking Mike, Mike Thernovich and, or fucking, just any of these fuck, or Breitbart. Right, you know, or any of these, you know, or just, you know, or just racist made up bollocks dot com. And, and you go there and it's just. And then but then suddenly when they get something, but then they think that saying, like, oh, this is in the mainstream media. Well, then doesn't that discredit it? That's called cognitive dissonance, Tim, which I know. Neither of those words you can you could spell, you know, you couldn't you couldn't you might be able to spell cat if I could spot you the C and the A. Mainstream news reports. Yeah, that does not change Donald Trump's actions. What's the connection between withholding of aid and Ukraine that we can we can we can prove in court? He, he did it, and the end. I mean, there's no connection needed. You know, like, it's there. So what, he just asked them to do it when, you know, so we got this money, I need you to do me a favour. Oh, by the way, lads, just tell them this fucking, tell them the fucking dog at it. You know. We don't have to prove hearing. it in court. In, a, in an impeachment hearing, can we prove it? We can prove that he withheld. You couldn't prove fucking it. You couldn't find your ass with both hands tied behind your fucking back. You wouldn't know which way a fucking elevator was going if you had three fucking guesses. You could go to a mind reader and get it done for fuck all. Yes. Can we promote? Can we prove it's connected in any way to Ukraine? Well, first off, we don't need. He was on the phone with them, talking to them. They were who he was addressing. It's probably slightly relevant for it to be impeachable. He had some reason. You say maybe it was because the carpenter. I don't know what the reason is. Or something. Yeah, I don't he, know what it is. I, mean, I could fucking right. fill up an entire universe with the shit you don't know. Christ Almighty. To do that. Per, you're right, you I, I, but I agree with you. That. I said I agree with you several times. Well, then why are we arguing? You you say you agree with him every fucking time he rebuts you, and then you just go back to some other fucking piddling wank that you've sat around, you know, just anything to just, just stop, read, just take a day off. Take a year off. You yeah, yeah. Could also you impeach him because you believe it's a political process. You believe that he has tried to leverage that aid 
to get an investigation into someone he anticipates running against in 2020. Now, it's a political process. All right. Well, so, so I, I agree. I agree. With, I agree with you. I agree. With you. I agree. I agree. I agree. I agree. If we have, I guess, you could call it probable cause. You know, looking at the circumstances, one hundred percent. So then, we have prob one hundred percent. We have. You know those kids. You ever have that mate at Salt Lake? You ever have one of those mates who just literally who has no confidence in anything and they just go along there was a character on the far show called indecisive dave and he's and he would just be literally they they would just ask him like what he would go along with whatever people said then someone would disagree and he'd go yeah yeah right yeah and it goes you know, you know and it just that's it that's him you know like most people try and create a straw man or like try and change the subject or pivot tim paul's fucking you know tactic of choice is to argue for 10 minutes over some petty irrelevant bollocks you know that apparently is you know is 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 you know that happened five years ago and is relevant because it was it was in you know a mainstream news art news news outlet because there's never been anything dodgy written in any of those has it and and then he just and then he ends up going i agree i agree and there you know I suppose would be to vote on the authorization of impeachment, right? To vote, what well, you would vote on the articles of impeachment. So articles. Why, why aren't they voting on the authorization of an inquiry into Trump? What do you mean voting on an authorization? They are Just authorized. Bollocks. They don't Just need to be that. They, so there's rules specifically to allow the minority protection. Those rules don't exist anymore. Why, why is that? They don't. What do you, do you mean? Do you mean why is that? Those rules don't exist anymore. Why is that? They went off to live on a farm somewhere, Tim. You know? They don't exist anymore. You know? That's what happened. You know? What do you mean, why? Don't... Does it matter why? Because Donald Trump spilled some coffee on the carpet and he cleaned them up with, you know, with the bit of the official documents that the rules were written on. Tim, slavery is no longer legal. Oh, 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 isn't it? No, that rule doesn't exist. That law doesn't exist anymore. Oh, why is that? They, they were changed should, uh, should they? Uh, four or five years ago. Should they? Uh, I don't, who who I gives a shit? So, so here's, here's, here's the problem. Let's debate rules okay. that don't exist. Right now you have conservatives looking at Adam Schiff, who has made m many misstatements. Looking at Adam Schiff. Going, going back several years with Russiagate, and now the misstatements. About Look at the arse on that. Lower. You had the whistleblower statement was in misalignment, I'll say, with the actual transcript of the call. Now you That's have not reports. An actual transcript. That's not a. It's not a verbatim. According transcript. to the according to the New York Times. In, in misalignment, I'll say. This is where Tim Paul fails to you know understand how the English language works because he doesn't know what verbatim means. Like, it, the, verbatim is an absolute term, you know. It's like when Mary Poppins used to say, I'm perfect in almost every way, you know. So just, this is, so, so this is what he doesn't get. Say, with the actual transcript of the call, now you That's have not reports. an actual transcript. That's not a, it's not a verbatim according transcript. To the, according to the New York Times, it's as close to a verbatim transcript as is, is possible to have. Right. So, Which so means now that it's not a verbatim transcript. That would imply the intelligence community is fabricating the, the transcript. Uh, no, 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 Tim. It, it literally doesn't. And the fact that you jump to that says everything about you and nothing about the intelligence agencies. You know, I love how he says it's. A, I love how that he used that phrase. It's as close to verbatim as you can possibly get. What? So it's missing that it's missing one let one word, a one letter word. It's missing. It's got one. You know, what? What? How can you have something that's as close to verbatim as possible? It would have to have literally the least amount missing. Did Donald Trump fucking let one rip during the? 
Did he shit his pants? What? Did he have a heated gamer moment and just randomly shout the N word? And they thought we'll cut that bit out. It's, you know, just we'll put in, in we'll put you know in inaudible. You know. Or no, in some capacity. no. I, I, I would just say that it's not a verbatim transcript. That's all. Right. So when we're to the best of our abilities, we have to trust the intelligence community to the right. To Luckily, the right. Tim, nothing has to be done to the best of your abilities. Otherwise, we would still be as a species fucking we wouldn't even, we'd be nowhere near if we had to rely on cunts like you. We'd be we'd still be living. We'd be feral, you know, wearing loin, wearing fucking, you know, you know, loincloths if we were lucky M underpants made of mud we'd be living in a fucking hole in the ground you know with a piece of tarpaulin stretched over it a hole that we dug with the fucking with the arse bone of a giraffe that we fucking found job when they were transcribing these calls to the best of their ability so right now we have adam schiff being uh, uh, ac uh, accused i guess by multiple outlets of pressuring volker to claim there was pressure when there wasn't and Volker repeatedly saying, that's not true, that's not true. We have Adam Schiff's misstatements, and now we have several Republicans being yeah, barred Volker, access Volker, to, to Volker the, saying to the that, what, what is Volker saying that Schiff, um, Volker claims that Schiff was... Not Volker. He gave no, him a no, Chinese bed. ...were released, and there's a few outlets now saying that... What is Volker they, saying? Why isn't Volker claiming this? Volker is claiming that Schiff is trying to conflate issues that didn't occur for political reasons. So the official what issues, reportings. The, what what issues is Volker claiming that Schiff is trying to? The, None of this is the relevant. Quote from Schiff was something like, "Do you think it would be something wrong like for a president to seek foreign aid to interfere in a U.S. election?" To which Volker says, "That I agree, that would be wrong." Schiff then says, "Do you think it would be wrong if a president leveraged aid against a foreign com a country?" Or do you think it would be especially wrong? How, this is not. How is this pressuring him? This is asking questions. A president leveraged, you know, uh, aid against a foreign government to get to pressure them into interfering. And then Volker stops and says, I think you're trying to conflate things that didn't occur, saying there was no pressure. There was no quid pro quo. And now the story as being reported is Schiff tries to pressure Volker. All assumptions. So, so I'm, not, I'm not saying it's true. I'm saying this is the, this he, is the interpretation. He questioned of it. him as a witness in an investigation. Well, those questions are improper, Leading? I would say. Right, absolutely. Okay. So it's... Yeah, but that's pressure. I mean, that's just, you know, that's coercion. I mean, he basically, those, you know, with those two questions, Adam Schiff might as well, you know, he, he for all intensive purposes, you know, just, you know, raped Volker. In the arse. Literally. It's, it's, you, you look at what Mike Mulvaney said when someone when he was look at look at Sam. He's I want to know what Sam is looking off to. It's either one. It's either his reflection in a mirror, saying what the fucking hell am I doing here, or you know, or it's you know he's he's looking at a uh, you know he's looking at one of his pets, or you know he's probably just staring. You know, there's nothing there. He's probably he, he can't even. He's losing the will to live, you know. He's not. If those aren't even gla real glasses, there's no fucking lenses in there. Yeah. You know? He's he's like saying, I can't believe I've been half an hour. How much longer have I got to go before it's rude to? He's trying to give a signal to his wife, saying, "Quick, fake a heart attack." You saw the comment he said. When did you stop beating your wife? Right. It's a it's it's a loaded question that you would. Of course. No, would. it's not. They didn't ask the question, did Donald Trump pressure a foreign government and leverage aid? That's not what when did you stop growing your hair, Tim? When, when, you know, when did your hair... I, he isn't even bald. I think his hair... I think, I think the reason he's, he's bald, he's not like bald because his hair's fallen out. Like, it, it's like, like, like you know, anyone, like no, normal. No, I, I reckon his hair just refuses to grow because it's too embarrassed to be seen on top of that fucking cunt's head. You know... It just doesn't want to come out. It's like, nope, staying right here, underneath the scalp. You know. He asked, is it wrong to do? Well, of course, everyone's going to say yes. No, so no, Volker I'm then, not sure that... Uh, well, right, Donald right, Trump right. ...that he can do that. 
Well, so, there are so plenty the, of so people the issue, the, who claim the, the, the that issue, he has the, the, the issue right I'm bringing up is not to, to uh, talk about Volker Warship, but to point out, here's what I see. I see the Here's what you see. Here's what you see. There's a stuff. reason you've got glasses, Tim, because you don't see things very clearly. An authorization. And They're going to release the, the that, that's, all that's, of their that, deposition. That's great, and, and, and I think that's wrong. One hundred percent, one hundred percent wrong. Trump should not have privacy rights in it when it comes to these investigations, and neither should should the Congress. This should be open to all representatives to figure out what's going on in this country, not a secret hearing in which they promise to give us the information. A secret hearing. I don't trust him. I don't trust Trump. I don't trust you. Every day. And, I love it. And, and, and I love it. He's saying he doesn't trust Trump when, in fact, he needed to be convinced earlier that Trump lied. You know, how about the fact that, you know, it's statistically that's most likely what he does. He lies when he doesn't need to. He'd rather fucking... He li I mean, he lies literally about everything to the most extreme degree. Or, you know, constantly. But you don't trust Trump, I don't trust anyone, I don't trust it, you know. Oh, you trust the New York Times, though. Oh, yes, because they, they, they wrote about it. But members of Congress should be allowed to sit in on those. And, and in what fact, according, according to, uh, uh, I can't remember the guy's name. He said, it's typical that you can sit in on his other hearings. And according to the Associated Press, the only reason they're barring Republicans from these hearings is because they have the authority. Not it's uh, it is unusual, but because of the authority. So they so, so be, they have the authority, which means they're allowed to. So what's the problem? Maybe they're doing it just to wind you up. <laughs> 